how to craft your elevator pitch, make your pitch perfect, the elevator pitch, the one sentence summary, the yeah, that's what grabs people's attention. What is up, Underdog Fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to level the playing field for underdog entrepreneurs to ramp up our business to six and seven figures as underdog entrepreneurs. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything and we are getting started right now. My name is Zachary Babcock. And, and, and the good news is that it really doesn't take long. Right. It really doesn't take long. I mean, I like to lead with results, man. So if you're doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is, whether you're health, wealth, um, what is it? Health, wealth and love. Right. No matter what you're doing, no matter what industry you're in, get some results first. And then you have something to work with. Be like, hey, we've helped 18 people get we have a we have a unique method. Um, we've had we've helped 18 people get a six pack within the past 90 days. Uh, you want to be next? You know what I mean? You want to try it? Uh, you know, for example, so if you show some social proof, that helps a lot. Um, and, and that's just one tip. You know, there's so many things that people are doing wrong. Um, that's one tip. I'll tell you another major one that people are really royally screwing up is the messaging. Like, I'll go to their website or phone or whatever, and I'll see the headline. And I'll be, dude, what do you sell? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I saw this realtor today, talented realtor talented realtor went to a facebook profile and it says um it says i'm a dad of four um and i'm a i'm a i'm a, I'm a new york realtor right i'm a dad of four new york realtor now if i didn't know this person i would never reach out to them never in a million years why should i why should i um if they changed it to hey dad of four if you really want to tell us your dad of four which doesn't really mean anything to me, but you said data for award winning uh, real estate agent, or if you said, Hey, uh, I'm the agent that gets you houses under market value. I'm like, yep, that's exactly what I want. Ding, click contact. You know, in other words, are you giving people a reason to read on, to contact you, to buy from you? Most people are not. Most of the funnels I see are there. They're not. So, that's a phenomenal um, start is to really fine tune your messaging to speak to your core audience so that when they hear that, they're like, yep, that's me. Click. It just becomes an automated thing. So what I love, oh man, I, what I really love this, what Akbar Sheik just said, and this guy's a beast, by the way, has multiple, multiple two comma club awards in click funnels, which means he's made millions of dollars off of each, at least a million dollars off of each one of those awards in, off of one funnel. Um, and it's really key there, man. So many people with that, with, with their elevator pitch, like, um, We've been in business for 20 years, blah, blah, blah. Nobody gives a shit about that. Look, here's the three components that you want to do in your elevator pitch. Number one, who is it that you serve? So your ideal audience, boom, talk about the problems that you solve and the goals you help them achieve. That simple. And, and focus on emotions. So many people start talking about their products and services and start talking about the features and stuff. And the, well, and, w talk about the benefits, the emotion. That's what, pe that's what causes people to buy. So an example, here's my, I call them one sentence summary, elevator pitch, whatever you want to call it. Here's my one sent sentence summary, my elevator pitch. I help underdog entrepreneurs rapidly scale their business to six and seven figures without the frustration, stress, and overwhelm of trial and error. You see there? Or if you want to even get in depth, you know I'm talking about learning, like I help underdog entrepreneurs rapidly scale their business to six and seven figures so they can enjoy success and growth without the stress, overwhelm, and frustration of trial and error. You see, I, I identified a specific audience. I help underdog entrepreneurs. Scale, and I talk about the desired outcomes, scale their business to six and seven figures so they can enjoy growth and success. That's the desired outcomes, the goals they want to achieve without the stress, overwhelm, and frustration of trial and error. I talked about the problems that they're having that they want to avoid. And that's all emotion-based. And when you hear that, if you're an underdog entrepreneur working on ramping your business up to six and seven figures, that resonates and it's relevant to you. You get where I'm going with that? 
this is stuff that I go really deep dive in and, and teach in all my stuff. Obviously, you see it on the channel here. If you want a blueprint that's going to teach you this plus so much more on how to craft your message, attract your ideal audience, craft compelling offers that they want and are willing to pull out their credit card and buy how to publish engaging content that's going to get them into your funnel and how to lead them on the customer journey, aka what I call the relationship path and how to structure your offers within a nested offer design so that you can ramp your business up and prove these people wrong and prove yourself right that you are a winner, not just some underdog with all the odds sacked against them that's never going to make it. Check it out in the description below. It's called the Growth Engine Blueprint. I linked it up. Definitely get it. It's got video tutorials, worksheets you can download to map out your customer journey, customer profiles, all of that. And I can't wait to see you start winning as an underdog entrepreneur. Thanks for tuning in, and I will definitely see you on the next video. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. It is that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell. Yeah,